Hello and welcome to TSCC Spring 2024. Uh, I am your host today alongside wonderful Boney C on my left. We should have some really good matches today. This is the first phase of the knockout bracket. We are doing double eliminations and we are going to be kicking things off with England versus Norway. Indeed, indeed. Uh, we've just had the last of the players join the server, so I'm sure we will be hopping into that in a second. We can see the lineups here. Great players on both sides. Uh, obviously, very specific ice players in the form of uh, Andy Baguette and Bert Bagels, uh, the ice bread players. Of course, Sink's an incredibly good player. Uh, meanwhile, on the England side, i got to admit, I know this side a little better. Uh, Epos. Everyone knows Epos, he's an incredibly, incredibly good player at this point. Um, Rebel as well, he's a good up-and-coming player for the UK. Sox as well, really been establishing himself uh, primarily as part of the Molotov lineup in events like EMC. And Idol, who somehow is managing to basically run this entire event and play at the same time, which is incredibly, incredibly impressive. back to here because I don't know where it's got the audio sources for on that scene. That's gone horribly wrong. <laughs> um. Oh, it's all gone wrong. What's that? <laughs> no, you should be able to hear Boney now and shouldn't be able to hear me oh, twice. I don't know how on earth it added that source. I'm no longer either. silenced. I can finally tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> the cabal is real. They're out there. <laughs> They're trying to make rally cars eyes viable. No. Oh <laughs> 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 uh, no, it's oh, okay. Nice has been banned, so we're good. We're good. <laughs> When it comes to fix and bans, uh, you know, we, we, we spoke about the players. What about the match itself, right? As mentioned, 19 banned out. Uh, 18 uh, banned as well. So, uh, like I said, no rally eyes so will be involved in this. Uh, but in terms of map picks, we've got 9, 16, 24, 12. And then our random map will be 8. And uh, 9 being our first track. Picked up by Norway. As uh, our uh, players are actually uh, alive. Uh, got their warms up, ready. Good to go to get some uh, bobsleigh action going. Or you can see Norway doing a good job getting the lead out. Rebel uh, quite a ways behind with Idolus uh, stuck in fifth place uh, at oh, fourth place at the moment as uh, the rest of his team just falling too far behind. And we see a nice Norway ace to open things up here for our first match of the day. Not a major surprise, this was Norway's first pick, so you would expect this to go the way of Norway higher seeded team as well coming into this competition, so you'd expect this is going to be surface, well, a map that they should shine very well on. Oh yeah, definitely. The bobsleigh community in England isn't the largest, being totally honest, so mm. uh, yeah, it's not a huge surprise for to get picked against England. <laughs> and I would yeah, expect this to go the way of Norway. Well. 
you know, surprises can happen, but Norway looking in very dominant fashion for now, holding another one, two, three, Sings including a bit of speed. I will get past one of them. I think it's going to stop at that without any major mistakes from Andy and Dumbley. This is going to be an easy Norway one, two. Back them up, two nil on their first map pick immediately. Yeah, it's, I mean, Andy Sings both in top 50 on this track, uh, Dumbley. Uh, being on uh, 137 at the moment versus uh, the fastest uh, player from England uh, being 200, which is uh, Sox, but Sox at the moment not uh, not playing. Uh, so following that up, it's Idolist in 216. But yeah, it's just already having those averages in your favor and this track being quite consistent is uh, yeah very much showing how Nori, despite that crash happening there just now, Still has a uh, favorable position. Bird Bagel's actually getting a bit more speed out of that uh, turn, but unfortunately with Andy on first and Sinks on third, that's still going to be a victory for Norway. Um, yeah, I think just because of that, right? Just a good pick from um, from Norway here. And they yeah. uh, are looking to, uh, you know, bring an easy 1-0 in and make sure to uh, put some pressure here on England. Indeed, although that was the closest of round so far, so maybe England warming up a bit, but I still think there's going to be, it would be a monumental task to try and overhaul a 3-0 lead already on a map where Norway have looked this good, and Norway back to form a bit here. One, two, three, Sinks, oh, and as I say that we see double mistakes from Dumlay and Sinks, and this round will be going the way of the English players, actually. Two, Whoa. three, four. I, quite, quite I did a perfect caster curse there. Got to have one kicked <laughs> off. Like, looking really good for Norway here. Immediately two of them crashed. Yep, just <laughs> flip flop it all the way around. I mean, that's just the way it goes, right? That's uh, the the part of what makes, uh, you know, having good commentary just means making sure they curse the other team by being positive about them. Exactly, and, exactly. I mean, at that point, sky's the limit, really. You can't do it too late, though. At that point, it just turns into copium. Everyone knows copium is nothing more than the placebo. And we, uh, you know, uh, you're just, you, you can't expect copium to cause crashes to happen. Uh, though right now, ooh, Andy, with a bit of an unfortunate landing into the bobsleigh right there, will fall quite a ways behind into sixth place. We'll put Sinks and Dumbley for this one on for first and second. Uh, no cursing has been done. You can see at this point in time, Norway is just able to drive their game as usual, it seems. Uh, driving another 30.1, 30.2. Seemingly the times they're able to drive when everything is smooth sailing for them. Indeed. Up to 4 1 here. So, yeah, just one more round for Norway and they will wrap up their own map pick in very, very dominant fashion. Nice start once again from Norway there, though, with the. Uh... Idol is draggling just right behind, not getting the best jump onto the dirt. Burnt Bagel is able to overtake for a little bit as Idol does overtake once again. But look at the distance being Thank built up. Dumbly this time around. Ooh, bit of bad landing, but Idol is getting quite close. But you can see there's not just not enough, enough time, not oh. enough space. Five thousand oh, a second, <laughs> but uh, quite close. Doesn't make an impact on how the round results would have gone anyway. And no, that will definitely. wrap up the first point going to Norway here. And he's very yeah. close to getting that 29 there as well. 30.001, right? Just a couple thousandths away from uh, breaking that 30 barrier. Uh, would have been nice if he was able to do so. Not a lot of players have been able to do that, right? But uh, he has been uh, one of those. Um, fortunately, unable to replicate it. So... On to a pick from England. So Norway had their chance to shine, their chance to do what they uh, look to do best. Let's see if 16 is going to give them uh, a bit of the same as we get some nice grassy plastic towards y'all. And we have seen England pick this one uh, a couple times already. And well, every time on there, they definitely have looked good. Um, I believe they have played this one against... France as well, where it was quite a tight fight uh, during Swiss. Uh, we're able to win it in the end, but yeah, um, that was mainly due to France just uh, you know just doing a phenomenal job uh, working on the plastic here. Um, this time around against Norway, very curious to see if they uh, have those uh, plastic skills. It is a bit of a funky track, right, just because of the way the momentum works here, uh, swaying back and forth and being able to control that. 
Um, very curious to see if uh, Norway uh, will be able to uh, keep England on their toes and make them fight for that, you know, possible round win, or if they maybe even be able to counter them. In terms of rankings, though, it's looking quite good for England. Uh, definitely do have the faster players here with, uh, in particular... Um, oh, that's the, the wrong idolists. one. Epos and nice. Idols, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 14th and 12th. So, you know, you, you'd say you'd be uh, doing pretty good, but, you know, I'm just looking at warm-up right now, Ooh, as we uh, see Epos <laughs> issues there. <laughs> yep, get, get out of uh, your system now, Epos. Yeah, 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 this is the time, this is the time. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, on the, yeah, the, on Norway, also, uh, Dumblay and Andy, uh, both uh, good times, uh, 69th, 35th, and Sink's actually uh, the fastest of the bunch, being 26th overall ranking. So, I mean, we're just playing with top 100 uh, players right now, which uh, bound to uh, give us a nice good fight. Yeah, for sure. When you know, when you can think of the best thing to pick against your opposition, it's one where the entire enemy team is gonna be top 100. You know, it's oh, gonna yeah. be a high quality match, and we're gonna see some good <laughs> rounds here uh, on a map that is not very standard. I think I'm gonna put that diplomatically. Uh, sure. It's not a very yeah, traditional yeah. Trackmania track. So, no. Yeah, lots of a lot of the reactor boosting. Yeah, lots of unique tricks to learn. Uh, something you'll see Idle doing at the very start is landing quite sideways on the grass and not quite getting like a bug slide, but uh, a bit of extra acceleration from it. It's really interesting how the track works. So, yeah, I'm yeah, not quite been able to to master that, but it is very essential to uh, to driving this fast. Well, thankfully. Uh, we don't need to, uh, master this. We just need to yap. So. <laughs> hey. Glad to hear it. <laughs> well, does look, uh, like, uh, we are, uh, live right now. We, uh, seemingly, uh, just to look, uh, no changes on the, uh, Norway side in terms of players that they have set up. Uh, on the, uh, side of England, Burnt Bagel's, uh, taking the bench, uh, with a... Epos coming in to uh, show off his stuff here, and uh, we've got a nice 2v2 happening here at the front, actually, as we uh, drive along with Epos, who uh, unfortunately has lost a bit of speed, falling a bit behind. Fight happening uh, between Sinks and Eyeless at the front, but a lot of uh, blue names actually up in top three, and Epos trying to do something, make something happen, unfortunately unable to contain the speed that he was able to get into that turn, and it is going to be a 1-3-5 for Norway to pick up another round win. So far, England only has won a single round out of the uh, seven rounds played so far. So, uh, you know, not the best start for them on their own pick. Do we have a broken mic? Am I broken? Don't tell me I'm uh, broken, I guys. think it's mine. That is... Uh... Oh. Some more tech uh, issues. Mm -hmm. I assume My, people can I, still hear me while you're sorting it out. <laughs> I mean, you can sort uh, it out, right? Yeah, really. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say, uh, you might want to take casting for a bit, and I will try right. and sort out what's going on with my <laughs> mic. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Uh, as uh, getting back into the match, yeah, apologies for the audio at the moment. does look like England is about to uh, put themselves on, on the board for track number two, spring... 16. Epperson Idol is picking up the 1 2 combination. Unfortunately, uh, missing Rebel in the uh, epilogue of this uh, this all. Just uh, having uh, some more issues uh, making their way across the track. Fortunately, though, 1 2 is all you need to get a point on the board, one each. And uh, with that, moving on to round number three. I'm seeing, uh, I'm not sure if you're able to change cameras at some point, but for now, you know, we'll just focus on Idolus. He's doing a fine job giving us an idea of what's going on. We'll be in second place for the time being. With the rest of the, uh, Norway team, uh, kind of missing in action. Sinks the only one in top three trying to, uh, stay in second place, but Idolus able to, uh, counter him there, getting a better line into the plastic section. And we'll be able to uh, hold on to that second place with Idolus. Epos uh, still in front, already getting to the final part of the track. Still no Norway inside. It's looking like a 1-2 combination. We see Sinks in third place, but it's not going to cut it. It's going to be another round there for England. Looking like they are getting into the track, into the uh, the, the match. Just getting alive. Um, first time in the lead. Download the Still Serious Sonar app. I'm actually using that. That is my... Uh... 
itself. Any any things I do with audio, yeah, I, I do use that. There, there are things I don't like about it, but, you know, hey. <laughs> it is a good application, honestly, all things considered. But I'll, uh, well, we'll get that sorted out. Meantime, looking like a bit of a favorable uh, situation this time for Norway. Only Epos currently in first place, uh, being... Uh, you know, good teammate right there carrying the flag for England, uh, but missing the rest of his team. We can see two, three, and four. All Norway with Andy, Dumley, and Sinks currently uh, covering those spots. And uh, while Ipos is doing a great job just driving a banger of a round here, it is going to be a round for Norway here. Idol is getting quite close to that, uh, that fourth place, but... Even that wouldn't have cut it, and it's going to be a round for Norway. Norway making it quite hard here for England to uh, get their map, get their map pick out of the way. I already mentioned it at the start, right during warm up, that the uh, rankings all are within top 100. Right, these all these players are are terribly fast on this track, and so you have to wonder: was this the right pick? Right, was this the right call for uh, England to uh, to bang out? As we see Andy just uh, fly by in uh, the camera. Um, it is uh, once again top three looking like Idolist this time around in first place. So uh, England in number one, but two, three, and four. Again, all Norway. And this time it's Epos who is unable to uh, keep up with his teammate. And Rebel also having some issues really uh, clutching his way into that top three. And this is going to be essential when it comes to winning these rounds. So once again... England winning the round in terms of first place, but it is Norway 2, 3, and 4. Another point for them. Another round going their way, and they are uh, starting to make their way towards that 2-0, the way this is going. Quite dangerous right now. Uh, so uh, England a little bit in shambles, a little bit in the mud. Need to pick themselves out of this uh, these grassy patches. Perhaps these have been uh, just a little bit too, uh, too bumpy, too, uh, too dangerous, if you will. I, I have tried switching out, uh, well, moving cable around, and that might have nope. fixed it. Nope, Who knows? All right, well, yeah, I, I can hear you. Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you. <laughs> I believe it's All less right. static. <laughs> less static? That's good. That's good. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, on stream, everything is uh, being mo getting it true correctly as well. But I'm... Uh... Obviously, if people will notice, then they'll uh, they'll notice. Whoa, that's an unfortunate crash, right? Very quiet, too quiet, in fact. Well, this is your ASMR stream. Be sure to get yep. really, really <laughs> close to the. <laughs> no, we're not doing ASMR. Come on, guys. <laughs> we're not doing that. Okay, it's felt any better. <laughs> we uh, we will see. We will uh, get the response in just a little bit. These rounds are going and going. It is three all at the moment. England, uh, a little bit. All right. Maybe needs to warm up, right? Just need to talk and talk and talk and talk before you know it. Max exploding because it's like, oh, so much volume. I need to push it all. Podcast it all. Not much, little. All right. Well, I'll leave that to uh, to production here to uh, get sorted. In the meantime, even if it's a bit lower, seemingly. Uh, Another situation. This situation has been happening too many times right now for England, and it's not very advantageous for them. It is currently Epos in first place, but again, two, three, and four, all Norway. So clearly, when it comes to pace, they can put in Idolus, they can put in Epos, and they can both bang out great pace. Pace that will will beat what Norway can put down in a great time being driven right there as well. Uh, 42.4. Just a uh, screecher right there. But... Yeah, nice time for If you don't have your team with you, it's uh, it's just tough, right? It's just very, very tough. I mean, a point four, yeah, you're just working into top twenty-five. That's that's what's happening right there. Yeah, a couple of very, very important rounds for England here. Yeah, I need to yeah, clutch up. Two, two of them are bound to stop them losing their own map pick. It's going to be a very difficult um, match to go and win if they lose their first pick. I'll need to go and beat Norway on their second pick. So. Yeah. yeah. This one, though, looking quite nice. Idle going a bit wider. But, oh, Sinks just completely losing control right there. And that actually could have made the difference. I think if he had the control right there, he could have joined Dunley right there on that second place, right? And perhaps pick up second, third, and fifth, but lost the control. 
The broken mic guy. Who's the broken mic guy? Me. Am I the broken mic guy? <laughs> you, no, you are I, the broken mic guy. I think I'm the broken mic guy. guy. Hopefully, if we break the tree mats, I can have a look and see if I can, uh... Oh, yeah. Hold that definitely, permanently. definitely. Very strange. <laughs> Should be all right. So yeah, all to play for. Good luck yeah, around four, 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 four. It's uh, it's going to be uh, quite a tight one. With Idol is currently uh, residing in sixth place, still quite close to the rest of the pack, but it does look like Epos has the lead. Second, third, and fourth. Once again, Norway names, but Idol is and Rebel quite close to uh, perhaps get a bit of a maneuver happening. They don't have to pace just yet. They need one player to get into third place at least. Oh, that's not gonna it happen. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Yeah. There we go. Great times being driven right there, but it is going to be Norway to close out map number two in their favor, countering the pick from England, and with that, up two to nothing. Indeed. It's now going to be an incredibly, incredibly tough match for England to try and come back from. Yeah, yeah, it's just going to have to be win after win after win. 24 first, then 12, then 8. Uh, fortunately, 24 is... A map pick for England and 24. I would say um, when we saw England play that one, that where 16 was quite close. 24, not so much. 24 very much was in favor of England. They uh, definitely have the the control there, the the pace there to put up great times. I mean, we had Epos actually set up multiple 58s on uh, on 24, which is ridiculous in rounds, honestly. Um, where 58.4 may be the, the world record right there. Um, in general, in rounds, players will be driving 59s to one minute times. And for him to drive multiple 58s, I believe a 58.7 and a 58.9 was what he was able to do during rounds. Just ridiculously fast. Um, and 24 being one of the longer longest tracks in this campaign, uh, that is very favorable. Yeah, yeah, I it go. also get it's to a, yeah, uh, mention, I suppose, yeah. It, it's a Germany bit... being the, the freebie. <laughs> yeah, Germany, of course, already free this round uh, with a bye. Yeah, and uh, they're eating really good. I mean, they you like football. I mean, you, are, you enjoyed yesterday as well, most likely. That was cool. <laughs> if you're Scottish, though, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, uh, whew. <laughs> yeah, stick to rugby. Um... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, this is, um, although I wouldn't say this is by any means a traditional comp map, it sits slightly closer, um, to a traditional comp map in terms of the kind of turns you're having and the kind of surfaces for the most part. There is a bit of bobsleigh, there's a bit of wood, you wouldn't usually find that, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the rest of the track is gonna probably favour those stronger mixed players, and within uh, the England camp there are a lot of very, very good mixed players. Uh, particularly Epos, obviously making it to World Champs last year, having made it to the uh, Comic Con Baltics final a few weeks back. Uh, but also, perhaps less known name, names, Idol has played in EMC Division 1, uh, Sox has played for Molotov in Division 2. You know, there's. I'm not quite sure who is going to be on the England lineup here, but I think all of them. Other than perhaps Bagels. Bagels is a bit of a nice specialist. Uh, but I think the rest of them all hold their own yeah. on a more traditional track like this just uh taking a quick look at times right just just based on times i'm expecting idolists epos and socks to be the yeah. ones to play um definitely not burn bagels for this one uh being in top 5000 definitely not <laughs> his, uh, his track yeah <laughs> time set two months ago so yeah we're not definitely uh, not seeing him on the side of uh norway though i mean andy sinks and dunley once again uh i mean in general having most of the fastest times from their team. Uh, but in this case, uh, multiple 58s uh, from Andy and Sinks and a 59 from Dumbley as their PBs. And those are exactly the names that we're seeing coming in that I just mentioned. Epos Sox and Idolist for England and from Norway. We'll be seeing Andy Sinks. Oh, we're both crashing on the same spot and Dumbley left to his own devices to uh, fend for Ooh, himself here on 24. That's the big one. Yeah, it's now into a 1v3, which is... Pretty much a doom scenario for Norway here, unless there are mega mistakes from England. As I say, that Sox indulges in the opportunity mm. of making a pretty major mistake, <laughs> but given how far back 
um, to Norwegian players were. I think he'll still hold on to fourth. And oh, oh, yeah. idle. That setup was not the way you wanna do. I already at the moment he right, landed what? into the bobsleigh. Where is it anyone? Was already... How did we get to pass yeah. socks? Is anyone gonna finish <laughs> this track? It's Epos and Dumbley. Oh, that's it. Oh my God, he's born sinks and it's it's. How do I fix that? Massacre. Evos finishes, Dumbley finishes, and then if we wait a few decades, <laughs> we might up. get someone else. We got some people encased in ice. I, oh, there I you go. has finished. Are we going to get any more finishes? I don't know. Six finishes. Okay, everyone does cross the line. We get some good rounds in chat. This is Division 1. Yeah, this is Division 1. This is yeah, yeah. really, Welcome. really incredible performances. <laughs> yeah, oh definitely. God. uh I mean, 24, this is why I find a 58 on, on Spring 24 to be so impressive. There are so many spots, so many places where things can go wrong. And that round just now was a very good example of how poorly things can go. But So when they do go fast, right, when the track is driven cleanly, it is all the more impressive. Uh, so for this one, it like does look like uh, we have most players still somewhat alive. Epos still the fastest out of the six, which not quite surprising. Ooh, Idol is actually overtaken due to Epos not yeah, really taking the line through the dirt correctly. Yeah. So a one, two in favor of England. Dumbly and Sinks looking to uh, perhaps overtake here on the wood. Have been able to make that maneuver work actually so far, but Dumbly going too high. Sinks the only one still safe in second place. And I think it's going to come down to the wire right now. With Idol is losing a bit speed. Needs to get this turn into the wood correctly. And it unfortunately will not be enough with Sings, Dunley, and Andy on second, third, and fifth. That is going to be a round for Norway. This is what I was expecting yeah, when playing 24, go? right? How do we go from our <laughs> previous round to the entire match being separated by? I think that was point four. Yeah. <laughs> how, how do you go from one to Big the other? Big difference That's here. Madness. Honestly ridiculous, but yeah, this, this is 24 in a nutshell. It gives it and it take if and uh, fortunately uh, for us, that gave us uh, a beautiful round. Uh, we'll see if uh, we'll be able to repeat that uh, success. Ooh, unfortunate crash here from Andy, though. Yeah, so 2v3 now in favor of England, uh, with Sox currently uh, residing in third place, fighting it out with Sinks, actually. Idol is right behind fighting with Dumlay and getting more speed out of the dirt there as well shooting himself into fourth place and Epos just lonely at the top like I know he's fast at this track I've mentioned it a couple times already but this is just the distance he has built up and it's not necessarily that the other players have necessarily driven bad right they're still on pace to drive here at 59 and perhaps one one minute times but Epos is just cruising for 58 I believe yeah we'll and England can coast to a nice there 1 4 5 here <laughs> as yeah Epos is 0.7 faster than the next player. It's, uh, yeah, 58.8. Yeah. It's it's one tenth away from his uh, PB and beating a lot <laughs> of PBs uh, for that regard as well. I imagine. It's, uh, ridiculous. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is uh, a bit of an Epos track. You know, there's nice slippery surfaces. This is where he tends to do his best on plastic, on dirt, on grass, stuff like that. There's a bit of tech, yeah. which I know he won't be enjoying, but you see, just by the time we get out of the first grass, he's already, you know, far ahead of everyone else, yeah. carrying more speed. Or he might Great lose control a... on the, the wood as well. Yeah, he might lose a tiny bit on the drifts. I mean, I say that, he's extended his gap against these players. <laughs> he is truly in a league of his own here. As yeah. This is the first round where I think England have possibly looked truly dominant. We see... Um, Idle and Sox both up in third and fourth. Idle losing a bit. Sinks catching up here. Sox moves up in second. This doesn't look like an England round. It's a, uh, the 2v2 in the midfield, but with it, Epos first and Andy last. There's not really anything Norway can do here. <laughs> Another 58 from Epos. What, yeah. what is he? <laughs> look, and I'm still struggling to get AT on this track, and he is just driving, you know, like top 10 times like it's no big deal. Well, not top. <laughs> the top point nine is more t twenty-five, but even then, that's it's ridiculous. <laughs> Honestly, uh, just knowing you have a player like that in your lineup to be able to, you know, just set up those first places consistently um, is is a boon in of itself. And because uh, the England team has been able to keep up, it is allowing them to, uh, yeah, just get into their own. It's just the first track where they look 
like they are are dominant, right? Like they are able to uh, very much uh, sweep. Oh, Norway in a way, uh, but yeah, bit, the moment you lose curse. that. Yeah, oh. they lose their front man, they lose their first place. And now this is a golden opportunity for Norway to go and get another point on the board here. Yeah. So um, a bit of a house of cards, if you will, right? Just uh, over relying on one or two players. The moment that they have a bad round, right? It, it just somewhat crumbles, and you can see yeah. it happening right here. Idle, uh, unfortunately, too far behind. Sings with a little bit of a crash, though, but will not be favorable enough uh, for uh, for England to uh, get back into it. So going to have to concede a round to uh, Norway. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I, don't, I, I just, you know, true to track, seeing, we've seen... Uh, England play. It doesn't look like this is necessarily the campaign that uh, these these players are able to uh, to usually shine in compared to uh, previous campaigns. No. Um, yeah, there aren't too many uh, players in the British community and especially the English community who look comfortable with new cards yet. Yeah. Uh, which means they're forced into picking kind of more traditional tracks like this one. I mean, I don't think we've seen any rally car in this match so far, but a lot of these tracks are stranger than you might have had in um, the old campaigns. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's kind yeah, of it's left definitely not, you know, 100% stadium. Yeah. That Epos makes sense. It's flying ahead, but Idol is behind, as is Sox right now, so it's going to come down to whether or not Sox can get past at least one. Yeah, hoping for perhaps a mistake along the way. Dumley, uh, you know, looking somewhat vulnerable, but at the same time, is controlling the plastic is uh, just good enough here to uh, keep himself in fourth place. So, unfortunately, the door has been shut, and despite Epos right there driving another point eight, um, yeah, it's just missing the rest of his team. Um, and at the same time, though, Norway just consistently banging out these fifty nines will mean that. Uh, yeah, you're just going to have to pick up the pace. The rest of the team needs to uh, be able to join uh, Apples here if uh, England is looking to have a chance to, uh, you know, move past their first win, right? They're still looking for their first map win. Yeah. In all of this. They're going to be at the serious risk of getting 3 0 here. I think what's making this uh, Norwegian side a bit. Mm, I'm not going to finish that sentence. I was going to comment <laughs> on, like, you know, their consistency and that, you know. Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, I mean, Sox is challenging <laughs> that as well, so... We'll have a battle yeah. for Tiff and Sigma back. Andy Baguette crashes, and this is a good yeah. opportunity for England to perhaps get back in the swing of things here. They have Epoth and Compton first, Idol in third, things in the middle of the sandwich. Yeah, just kind of in no man's land right here, is in second place, but in no danger of losing that second place. It's just uh, a lot of... Uh... Yeah, just a lot of time between the rest of the players. Andy is a little bit behind idle, but will be uh, nowhere near to uh, actually challenge that. So a 1-3-5 will mean uh, England with that will put themselves once again in the lead. 4-3, to three, but I mean, we saw this on 16 as well. So it's it's going to be a matter of just getting that consistency in. Because in terms of times that Sox and Idolists have set up, uh, it's not going to be enough if Norway drives... Uh, the way they've been driving most of the time, which has been these these 59s. Indeed. We'll see. Oh, oh I was oh, dead. That's oh. Apple's dead. That is putting England at serious risk of going 4 4 on their second map pick. Dragging us into match yeah. points. But Sox Idol are still there. And the thing is, Epoch has so much pace. He's past one. <laughs> is he going to do a cheat? No. No, I got so touched. I got so excited for that, but pushing he could have honestly. He touches he the have. sides. No, oh, yeah, Bobsleigh doesn't go well either, and it's uh, yeah, no, he is definitely down and out for this one. And with the yeah, uh, first and second, yeah, being Norway. Yikes! This is not uh, <laughs> this is not the way England expected it to go. I think. And so, once again, good luck. It's another 4-4. Four, four. England being pushed on to the brink of defeat, being pushed into loser's round. Definitely expected, you know, like I said, expected more from, from a lineup that they've set up. You, you expect more, but I really do think it is just simply the campaign. 
And uh, yeah, as you, I think what you mentioned, right, with the with the rally card and uh, coming into play, not having that experience necessarily limits your choice. And it's cool. uh, it's all about just making sure it's not making a mistake. That's really it. I think that's just keep, just, just don't don't make a mistake. If they drive their regular pace, it should be all right. We'll yeah, see. it's gonna come down quite heavily to whether or not Epos can keep play here. Socks absolutely doing his job. Moves up into first even. Ahead of Epos. Yeah. Epos not getting a good drift there, but not dropping a Sox Cliffs. Oh. Sox Cliffs and Myth moves Norway into a 1 2. It is all the pressure on Epos now. He has to try and clear both of these two and then hope that Idol can do something because Sox is down and out. And I think yeah. there's not going to be enough map left. I don't think there's enough time that Epos can gain here despite his best effort. Yeah, he's fighting on hard. For he it. might get one. Might he get two? He's gonna miss oh, the finish. No. He missed the finish. I can't blame no. him. No, no. He had to push. Oh, but Idle and Socks. Oh, wait, no, they were fourth and fifth because Epos was last. Never yeah. mind. Yeah. It didn't matter yeah. anyway. And that was <laughs> to be quite blunt. Um, a thrashing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it just, uh, it, it, for just a little bit on 24, it seemed like England had control over the match, but that was really just it. Every other time, Norway was either, uh, when it comes to nine, simply beating them, uh, no question about it, or uh, just, you know, uh, showing them that, hey, you may have picked this track, but we can do it just as well as you. Uh, and, you know, it just came down to those those five fours, and we're usually, you know, still, those were some cl close maps. Um, it still didn't, you know, quite feel like England had that grip, had that control, and, and just seemed like, yeah, Norway was... I don't know if if the match kept going, right, and we went on to 12, if England had what it would take to beat Norway there. Just, I... Yeah. I think it would have been a shame, but... huge you ask. Um, yeah, definitely. Wow, nothing in my setup is working. This is incredible. My, my oh. webcam is just frozen. That's... Oh, no. I'm still moving, right? Yeah, That's I'm incredible. Uh... I'm not dead, I promise. Um... No, okay. <laughs> Good boy. Uh... <laughs> oh, it it boy. did not go oh, well for me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm going to let you well, natter for a second while I try sure. changing out another bit of my setup to see whether this one does anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I may as well uh, talk a little bit about what is going on for this edition of uh, TSCC Spring 2024. We didn't have that much time to get into it before the match, but uh, things are a little bit different. Uh, if you have uh, followed uh, earlier on and now uh, joining us once again, uh, our Swiss and playoff rounds are still the way you, uh, you know them in the terms of when we do them and how they work, but not really. Uh, for Swiss, where instead we were making sure all play all teams who have three wins to move on to playoffs and three losses to be eliminated from the tournament. Instead, we have played all five matches of that Swiss round. And because of that, we've been able to divide all teams into divisions. So we have 21 teams that have signed up, uh, three divisions in total. So seven teams will be divided up in each and every one of those. So uh, just now, right, just watching our division one match. Um, but Division 2 and Division 3 matches are happening at the same time. If you need to know, like, hey, what's going on in those, I'm positive there are POV streams out there. Either they've been posted in the Discord, so be sure to join that. Um, or, you know, check out the Trackmania directory here in Twitch, and you'll be able to find the, uh, you know, the, the matches you are expecting to find. So because of that... Uh, you know, a lot of matches still ongoing, um, and we have some results coming in as well from our uh, other divisions. Um, happen to be both uh, trios, where um, unfortunately uh, for Spain versus Netherlands 3, Spain actually forfeiting the uh, the match. Uh, so, uh, yeah, shame to see uh, Spain not uh, being more of a presence for this, uh, this edition of TSCC. And uh, we'll be uh, hopefully seeing them next time in uh, our, uh, you know, future editions. Um, on the other side, though, uh, we have... So with that Netherlands 3 getting the free win, uh, Romania versus Netherlands 4, uh, the, one of the other Dutch teams, because there's four Dutch teams, uh, that was a trio victory to Romania. So with that Netherlands 4 dropping down to the loser's bracket, these both are Division 3 matches. 
Um, and so uh, one Dutch team uh, staying in uh, the upper bracket and one Dutch team dropping down to the lower bracket. And obviously uh, just now seeing Norway versus England uh, with a trio victory to Norway. So a lot of matches still ongoing, a lot of matches still happening. Um, in particular, when it comes to these these matches that we have in the Division 1, we've got Netherlands 1 versus Denmark happening. Winner of that will be facing off against Germany. And we have France versus Turkey happening. And the winner of that will be facing off against Norway. Um, what's happening in Division 2 and Division 3 still? I need to see. Because for some reason it doesn't show up in tournaments, which is a shame. Because I kind of wanted to they're see. Up, they're on separate pages. Are they? Uh, yeah. That's why. That's why. That is uh, to be a key. Well, let me grab it. So, Division 2, we've got Germany 2 versus Greater Ireland happening. We have, with the winner of that, facing off against South Africa. Um, Finland versus Scotland. Uh, and the winner of that will be facing off against the winner of Netherlands 2 versus India. Um, so, that is happening in Division 2. And then Division 3, our final one, we already had a couple of results coming in. Spain forfeiting their match, with meaning Netherlands 3 will be facing off against Romania, which beats Netherlands 4. Uh, and Wales versus Russia is still ongoing, and the winner of that facing off against Estonia. So a lot of action still happening at this point yeah, because of this. Is there a game that we could uh, hop into, perhaps into France-Turkey? or Yeah, I Netherlands think that Denmark. would be... Uh... I don't know what the status is of either match. But I don't think that is a bad idea at all. As long as things are sorted out on your end, then... Uh, uh, we we game. hope so. I haven't seen anyone <laughs> more static, so if it's still there, do let me know. Um, uh, let me check. I see Netherlands Denmark currently on 06, and they... So that's map 4. That round is ongoing. Not quite sure what the score is over there. Uh, I'm just going through. Who else do we have? Stream.